mean, our main goal is to make sure that everybody gets all the information they need. At the same time, they're getting the grounding they get by reading a chapter in a book. And again, I can't emphasize that too much. People say, well, what about why are books necessary anymore? The answer is when you write a paper, you write about a specific item in the paper and you give that information in depth. When you write a chapter, you write about the whole field plus the specific item. So you put it in the context of, of the field. And so textbooks, I don't think, will ever lose their value. I think in this era, it's even more critical that we have a comprehensive, up-to-date text, such as the principles and practice of oncology. In this book, we have the experts in the field who have read and been experienced and have put together all this information in an easily readable format. More importantly, these experts are constantly reviewing what's happening in the field and in the electronic version of the book are constantly updating the book so it has the most up-to-date, comprehensive, and authoritative material. You can't get that from Wikipedia. The e-book has a great advantage in portability. It can be used on rounds, it can be used at the patient's bedside, can easily be taken to a classroom. In this way, the e-book brings all of the authoritative information of the principles and practice of oncology to wherever it's needed. We're very excited that this newest edition of the principles and practice of oncology will be highly searchable. The book is updated every three months so that it's always up to date in terms of this new information as it evolves. In fact, our cancer textbook is the only cancer textbook that consistently updates information uh, as new information is, uh, is derived that's of value to the physician. It's just as important to provide an adequate treatment as it is to support patients uh, through end-of-life issues if the treatments don't work. And we put a great emphasis on each one of those aspects uh, in this uh, textbook. We look at the basic molecular biology that underlies disease. We talk about the combined modality treatment, and then we talk about genetic counseling of patients as well as end-of-life issues. And so we feel we cover the complete gamut uh, of information that's required to provide patients not only with the best cancer treatment, but with the best quality of life as well.